Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see what is the use of conditional annotation in Spring Boot. So let's get started. In Spring Boot, add conditional is basically an annotation, which is used to conditionally activate or deactivate a beam based upon certain condition. So in short, we can say we can create a beam based upon certain conditions or based upon certain logic. For example, if we want to create a beam, only if a certain class is present in the class path, then only the beam should be created. So that kind of a thing we can achieve it by using the conditional annotation. So there are many types of conditional annotation. So we will explore each one of them with some example. So first is conditional on beam. So this allows the beam to be created only if another beam of a specified type is present in the application context. Now suppose we want to create a beam based upon the another beam. So here one example is, suppose we want to create a bean called my bean B only if the my bean A is present in the class path. So for that we can use this add conditional on bean annotation. Okay. So if we see this in this example, my bean B will only be created if my bean A is present in the application context. Okay. So second type is conditional on property. So this will create the bean only if a specific property is present in the application.properties file. Okay, so now suppose the example for this is like suppose in the application.property we have some key value pairs like my app.feature.enabled and the bean my bean should only be created if the value of this particular key in the application property is true. Then only the bean of this should be created. If the value is false, then the bean will not be created. So this kind of a thing we can achieve by using the add conditional on property annotation. Okay. So third is conditional on class. So in this case, it will create the bean only if a specified class is present in the class path. Okay. So here is an example. So here we will create, I mean, here the my bean will only be created only if in the class path we have a something like dispatcher servlet class is present in the class path then only the my bean will be created here we are using the dispatcher servlet you can use any class like suppose you have a class called abc if that abc class is present then only the bean should be created so for that kind of a scenario we can use this add conditional on class annotation okay so next is conditional on missing bean so this annotation allows the bean to be created only if there is no existing bean of the specified type in the application context. Okay. So now suppose we are trying to create a my bean, but we were checking like if the my bean is, if the my bean is already been created before, then it should not be created. If it is not there, then only it should be created. Okay. So here is an example. So here we are trying to create a my bean A. Okay. And here conditional on missing bean. So if my bean B is not present in the class path before then only this should be created okay in this example my bean b only be created if there is no existing bean of type my bean b so that's what if there is no my bean b then only it should be created otherwise it will be ignored so our next case is conditional on resource this annotation creates the bean only if a specified resource is present on the class path okay so here is an example if we have my config dot properties present in the class path, then only this bean should be created. Okay. So this is something like the application dot properties we have, right? So suppose I have created one more property for reading the database, suppose database dot properties. And this particular bean is basically used to create the database and all those things. So we are trying to say if the database dot properties is present in the class path, then only this bean should be created. So that can be done by using this annotation. Okay. So here my bean only be created if the resource my config dot properties is present on the class path. If the resource is not found, the bean will not be created or this bean will be skipped. Okay. So our next is custom conditions. So custom conditions, uh, basically suppose we have some, we are working on some application and based upon the business logic, I want to create the bean. If that business logic satisfies, then only we will create the bean. If it doesn't satisfy, we will not create the bean. Okay. So for that, like suppose what we can do is, suppose we are 
uh, we are having some business logic and we have kept it in the my custom condition and we are going to implement this condition okay and uh, condition interface and in this we have one method called matches so here we have condition context argument and annotated type metadata so we here we can put our uh, custom conditions logic here i mean some business logic and something and based upon that business logic we can return the true or false now what will happen if this will return the true here we are using add conditional and we have given the my custom condition dot class so if it returns the true then only this my bean will be created if it returns the false then this my bean will not be created okay so this is the use of custom conditions so it is basically used in the scenario where we are going to create a bean based upon the some business logic or something okay so in this video this much only if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel thank you